I wanna introduce you guys to my new favorite go-to weeknight dinner. This is air fryer Peruvian chicken. I'm Justin from Cooking with Coit. I specialize in clean comfort cooking. And remember, if you love this video, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Let's get started. Let's first go over all the ingredients you need to make this recipe. Chicken thighs, cilantro, lime, honey, Greek yogurt, cumin, paprika, garlic, and salt and pepper. And the two pieces of special cooking equipment you're gonna need is an air fryer and one large Ziploc bag. The first step in this recipe is to make the marinade and the first step in the marinade is to mince three cloves of garlic. The next step is that we're gonna marinate the chicken. So take your plastic bag that I called out earlier, your Ziploc bag. And what I like to do is make it into like a little bit of a bowl shape. So I just take the edges and I roll it over just like this. You can roll it over probably twice should be fine. And then I spread out the bottom and it should sit just like a bowl. Next, you're gonna add the chicken to the bottom of the bag. And I don't know if I called this out earlier, but these chicken thighs have skin on them and they have bones as well. So you can do the boneless skinless if you want, but I really suggest doing the bone in with the skin because that's gonna give you a lot more flavor. The only downside to having the bone in chicken thigh is that it does take a little bit longer to cook in the air fryer, but not a substantial amount of time, probably just like between five and eight minutes more. Next, we're gonna add in our spices to the marinade. So we're gonna first start with two teaspoons of paprika. We're also gonna add one teaspoon of cumin and one teaspoon of salt. The type of salt doesn't really matter for this recipe so much to me. Um, I'm just using a basic sea salt. I'm also gonna add in a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Next, let's take our minced garlic and drop it right on top of the chicken, just like this. One note that I have for you guys about this marinade, doesn't really matter precisely the order of which you put the ingredients in the bag. I just do it like this because I know that I want everything to sit on top of the chicken and to coat the chicken really well. So I start with the base of chicken and then I add my spices and garlic and lime juice. But honestly, it doesn't really matter the order that you go in. Next, we're gonna add the juice of one lime. Now the lime gives a really important hit of acid in this recipe, so you definitely don't wanna skip it. You probably could substitute it with lemon if you prefer lemon, but lime is really the best option. And finally, we're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm not really gonna measure this because it doesn't really matter. You don't have to be super precise about it. So I'm just gonna drizzle just about two tablespoons. That should be perfect. All right, so I'm gonna roll up the sides of the bag now. Now I'm going to zip the Ziploc bag almost entirely closed. I'm gonna leave just a little bit of the bag open at the very end. And the reason why I do this is that I wanna squeeze as much of the air out as I can. This is gonna help me to be able to massage the marinade into the chicken pieces as well as possible. So just squeeze as much air as you can out. And then what you can do at the very end, just close off the rest of the Ziploc bag. And then what I like to do, just lay it out onto your cutting board and just start massaging the chicken just like this. It's like we're at a day spa for chicken. So just massage it in there just like this. You wanna try to get all of that seasoning, all of that lime juice and olive oil fully coated on the chicken. And once you feel like you've done a pretty good job of spreading the marinade all over the chicken, what you need to do is pop this into the refrigerator and you can let it marinate for anywhere between one and three hours. Try to do at least, at least a half an hour. An hour is better. Three hours is the best, but I know everyone's always in a rush, so don't worry about it. While the chicken is marinating, it's best to get a head start on the cilantro lime crema sauce, which is so good. Like you're gonna love this sauce so much that you might even just like put it on other things other than this recipe and I just guarantee you, you're gonna love it. The first step in making this sauce is to rough chop one cup of cilantro. So you don't have to be too worried about making it perfect. I just literally cut the majority of the stems off and this feels like just about a cup. Next, we're gonna add a half a jalapeno, which I have already cut and I took out the seeds of the jalapeno too. Unless you like it really spicy, you can keep the seeds in there, but I don't like that level of spice, so I took them out. So this is half of a jalapeno. You're also gonna add one clove of garlic and a half a cup of Greek yogurt. This is five ounces, which there's eight ounces in a cup. It's a little bit more than a half a cup. So I probably won't put all of this in, but almost. Next, I'm gonna add one teaspoon of honey and the honey gives such a nice and subtle sweetness to this sauce. You're really gonna appreciate it. And then, you know, the honey is always gonna stick to your uh, teaspoon measurement tool. So I just add a little bit more typically. 
Next, we're gonna add one teaspoon of salt. Uh, I just used my teaspoon for the honey, so it's a little sticky. Uh, I'm just gonna do this by eye. So this should be just about a teaspoon of salt. This should work out perfectly. And lastly, we're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil. And there's two. Now, if you guys wanted, you could add uh, one more tablespoon of mayonnaise or sour cream if you wanted to make it a little creamier, but I'm gonna keep it a little cleaner, a little healthier, so I'm not gonna add those things. Now, let's just blend this until it's smooth. Okay, we've got a problem. As you can see, there's not enough liquid in the blender, and so that's why it's just kind of spinning its wheels here. First thing I'm gonna do is to take a small spatula, and I'm going to just move everything around in the bottom of the blender. The next step, if this doesn't work, is to add a little bit of water, but don't wanna to have to add water unless I absolutely have to, because I don't wanna water down the flavors. So let's first give this a try, and if that doesn't work, we'll add a little bit of water. Yep. Same thing. Okay, no problem. I'll be right back. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Okay, I probably added, I don't know, about a tablespoon of water. Let's see if that does the trick. I'm first gonna just mix everything around here just to get everything off of the sides of the blender. And if you don't have a blender or if you wanna use a small food processor, that works equally well also. There we go. Okay, perfect. Now everything's moving nicely. I'm just gonna keep it low just for a second. Maybe I'll speed it up a little bit here. All right, let's see how we did. Ooh, check out this cilantro lime crema sauce. Uh, now we're gonna set this sauce aside and we're gonna grab out our chicken after it's done marinating for the one hour time limit. All right guys, so the one hour time limit is all done. So now we are going to take the chicken thighs out of the bag and put them into the basket of the air fryer. One important note here is that when I put the chicken thighs into the basket, I like to always put them skin side up. And since these chicken thighs already have plenty of olive oil on them, you don't really need to waste your time and spray the inside of the basket. Mmm, man. I mean, I know this is raw chicken, but this marinade smells incredible incredibly good. You guys are gonna love this recipe, I promise you that. The aromas that really are jumping out of the bag right now are the cumin and the garlic and the paprika. I love this marinade so much. All right guys, so let's pop this chicken into the air fryer. And we are going to cook these at 370 degrees Fahrenheit for anywhere between 18 and 25 minutes. These chicken thighs, the ones that I bought, are probably about medium size, so I'm actually gonna set it right in the middle to 22 minutes, and let's see how we do there. You wanna cook the chicken until it reaches an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit, and then it's done. All right, guys, the timer just finished, so what I ended up doing is I cooked it a full 25 minutes. It needed that extra time because I guess these chicken thighs were a little thicker, but let's see how we did. Whoa, okay, look how incredible these chicken thighs look. Now, what you're gonna notice is, is that they're probably gonna come out a little crispier on the outside, maybe even a little bit darker. And don't worry, they're not burned. What's happened is, is that the seasoning has just sort of created a crust around the chicken thigh. I promise you the meat inside underneath the skin is gonna be super tender and delicious. So what I always do, and what I always tell everyone to do, whenever you're cooking any meat at all, especially with an air fryer, always double check it with an instant read digital thermometer. You wanna make sure that with chicken, it reaches an internal temperature of at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit, and then you know it's safe to eat. So let's just double check and make sure that we did a good job here. Looks like we're at 173 degrees, and that is absolutely perfect. I cannot wait to give this air fryer Peruvian chicken a try, but before I do, if you love this recipe and you wanna see more just like it, check out my air fryer recipes playlist. Okay, let's give these a try. All right guys, so to finish this chicken off, we wanna grab our cilantro lime crema sauce that we made earlier and just drizzle a little bit right over the top, just like so, and that is it. This air fryer Peruvian chicken is so quick to make. It comes together so fast, and you guys are gonna love the cilantro lime crema sauce. It really is the perfect complement to this chicken. I really hope you guys give this recipe a try. See you in the next video.